What is going on guys, Adam here at What The 48 so today we're going to be reviewing Ludovic Julie's UCL Hero card. It's coming in at 5'5", five five. he's only a Diddy one. He's got high medium weight rates and 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. Explosive acceleration type and he can only play right mid and right wing which is sad. I think every winger on this, especially the heroes and icons, should have both wings. I don't understand why you wouldn't. You're telling me that Julie never played on the left? Absolute nonsense. Don't know why they do it. So his pace is very good. His shooting is fantastic for a winger. His passing is very good for a, for a winger, especially his short passing. His dribbling is absolutely outstanding. And he's got quite good stamina. But that strength and aggression, it worries me. It really does. Uh, this is where he was most famous. And this card is based upon his FC Barcelona days, which he was fantastic. Uh, I think he was there in 2006 when they beat Arsenal in the final. I'm pretty sure he played in that game. So we have got finesse shot, whip pass, technical flair, rapid, relentless, which is crazy on a winger, and acrobatic plus. I think his base hero card had acrobatic plus, but when you're five foot five tall, does that even matter? I don't believe it does. I didn't notice it on that card, and I certainly didn't notice it on this card either. So. My issue with this card is, and I even tested it out for a couple of games, I put in base Jula and I didn't notice the difference between the two cards. Didn't notice anything different. He plays well. He's very good on the ball. His dribbling is fantastic. His crossing is good. But there's just not enough to him. Uh, he's behind the power curve already and the card has only just come out. These UCL heroes should have come out in, in the first match week of the Champions League. I don't know why they waited until December to bring them out. So stupid in my opinion. Um, his finishing is pretty good. Uh, he does miss some opportunities. Can't remember what his composure was like. Um, it might be the problem though that his composure is a little bit low. Um, I didn't notice a difference between his right foot and his left foot. Uh, so although it's four star, four star. It feels like a five star. Um, yeah, it, his passing was phenomenal. He's one of them where if he was a little bit bigger or a little bit stronger, he would be fantastic as a cam or as a shadow striker, a centre forward behind a, a target man or a fast striker. But as I say, he's, he's just behind the power curve already and it's sad. Um, I don't believe that there's a big difference between this card and his base card. So if you are, are determined to get yourself a Julie card, I would just go and get the base one. It's probably very, very cheap at this point. I've reviewed that. There's a review of that on the channel. If you want to go check that out for yourself. Uh, it was very good at the time. Now I'm a bit unsure because the power curve has just gone up and up and up so fast. We're, we're already getting silly cards, which we would usually get in the summer as the game's coming to an end. You know, we've just got this Van Nistelrooy goalkeeper. We're apparently getting Allison and Yashin as midfielders. It's starting to get silly already. This game is a, it's, it's broken. And I don't think they're going to fix it. I don't think they want to fix it. I think that they're struggling to get people to play the game. And that's why we're getting daily play bonuses. Every single promo for the last three weeks. So, we'll see. But yeah. Uh, summary coming up for Jule and you'll be able to see it clear as day on there. He's good, but he's not worth the coins. I think he's like 135k. Not worth it at all. He is like a cheap ribber. Really, really cheap ribber. Uh, 